selecting an element and being able to select that element and showing the TCC curve. So for example, if I was to select this relay, OCR1, and uh, I'll go ahead and highlight that for you. So I'm selecting OCR1, and I'm going to go ahead and click on this button over here, uh, which is to create a new TCC. And what the program does, it brings that one line element onto a TCC view and shows the label of the device, OCR1, and shows the curve for that device. And this is created in a uh, what we call the star view, which is essentially a time current characteristic curve of the device onto uh, a presentation which includes the seconds and the time in seconds and current axis. Uh, there's a legend down here that uh, you can modify as well. Uh, this element, if I right click, I could get the settings for the actual relay. This is an ABB relay micro 51. It shows you the CT ratios and also the test points at different multiples. Now the way this is set up, if I would select this uh, relay, the curve gets selected. I can also move the curve, change the time dial, and as you see the time dial is changing between the range. I can change the pickup of the curve at a different pickup time, and I can again change the setting of this device a label to a short set, a label or a long label. If I were to double click on the relay, it would launch a relay editor which consists of several pages. The page that it would automatically go to would be my overcurrent page since it's an overcurrent relay. And here I can also select a different type of curves. For example, I can select the long, long time inverse. I can select the different ranges available for this model. Uh, for example, Micro 51 has two models available within it. There's a one amp model which is used typically in the European uh, uh, market uh, or IEC. Um, and the 5 amp, which is typically used in North America. And you can change the settings and time dials directly from here. If you want to enable the, uh, the instantaneous device, you can turn on the instantaneous and change the pickup range and the pickup settings, and you would get a new curve as shown below. So the element interconnection or the interface between STAR and ETAP, a one-line diagram, is basically such that you would could bring the elements into your new stars or existing stars and display them as shown. So I'm going to go ahead and close this for now and uh, give you another bigger picture. Basically, if you want to uh, create an entire path for coordination, I could simply uh, rubber band a portion of my one-line diagram. For example, I would rubber band this portion, and I can create a new star again, this time with the elements shown over here and uh, when they come through they show as being selected so you see that red color basically red means that you have selected that element here's my one line diagram and then what I can do with the one line diagram place it anywhere onto my star view I can place it on the top right corner in fact what I could do is actually place it outside my TCC view uh, if you for example if you have a quite a busy uh, number of curves you can show it as outside and you can basically plot this as shown um, Basically, all these one-line diagrams, this is not a bitmap. This is an actual one-line diagram brought over here. If you were to delete the element from this view, it does not delete it from your one-line diagram. It's just a representation of it, but it's linked to the one-line diagram element onto your uh, ETAP presentation. Same thing with here. You have a fuse element, for example, that you can adjust. Uh, you have your transformer damage curve. You have your relay is, uh, that is shown over here. Now, so example, for example, if I was to delete my breaker, I could delete that breaker from here, or I could delete my relay, and it's basically just deleted from this section. If I was to bring back that relay back onto my one line, uh, back to, onto my TCC curve, I have two options. I can go back to my relay view, and the simplest way is to um, select that element or that number of elements. There, if you see on your right hand side, there is a second icon. A toolbar, it's called Append to Star. If I click on Append to Star, it gives me a star view selection that by default selects my open star, star 1. It shows me the elements that are included in star view, star 2. So there are these elements that exist, and I can basically select, click on OK, and it would automatically add that element to my one line diagram to the best location possible. I can reposition this relay, and uh, here's my relay that was just, just added. Uh, you can also uh, bring elements directly from the one-line diagram by using a shortcut 
which you would basically go to your one line diagram click on uh, control and hold your control button control shift and move and drag your element to the, any desired location and drop that element and it would be added to your one line diagram so there are different means provided if you want to add the same element to number of stars what you would do for example is to select a given element or a set of elements click on append to star and you can select multiple elements or multiple star views that you want to add this to and by pressing OK it would add OCR1 to all those TCCs so there are tools available for managing your star views um, and so forth um, there are other, also other features provided in, in append to star where you can actually filter the star views by element so if you want to know in which star view you have few 7 or let's let's select the element that we actually have this element in here let's say I select OCR1 it would tell me but with this checkbox selected that OCR1 exists in main bus feeder 1 TCC and star 1 TCC so um, that's basically on the overall view one thing about the star view program um, is that it's not dependent on having your one line diagram connectivity what what I mean by that is uh, you can go to your edit mode and I can simply start on a new project, um, create, drop some fuses on my one-line diagram, or drop uh, a relay without having to connect it to the system, and I still could plot this element. So let's say you're doing a quick study and you're really not adding this to your uh, one-line diagram. You can just drop the elements on the one-line diagram. Go to your fuse, for example, by double-clicking on the fuse. You can change the fuse ID. Uh, you can go to the rating page and we provide a quite extensive library of devices both for ANSI and IEC standards so let's say we're working with the ANSI standard and we click on the library button and the program brings up a library quick pick for a fuse which includes a number of manufacturers for ANSI and let's say we would select a, um, let's say we select a, bu uh, a busman fuse and we can go down to the list and select the desired uh, fuse that we want and you can select the desired size of the fuse. Here what the program provides you is some information about the reference of that Cooper is Busman Cooper gives you the uh, the link that you can actually copy and paste onto your browser um, the class of the fuse the type brand names and so forth and if you notice there's some lock symbols next to the manufacturer and next to the model and the size levels and what that means is that those, these libraries have been issued by OTI by ETAP and they're actually provided by us so you are as users you're not able to modify or delete or edit these uh, lock sizes however what you can do is copy these sizes or create your own sizes uh, and modify the, the copied version so which become unlock I'll go through that a little bit later on but let's go ahead and select this fuse 15e which is a transformer feeder protection fuse and by doing so the fuse header is shown up here with the information uh, with the lock and the information for short circuit now the same information the internal information or I should say the TCC information is stored with this header information and if I was to go ahead and create a new star I would switch to my star view a star mode and create a new TCC star 3 in this case the program just increments the numbers and this is my fuse 4 busman uh, MV15F1CB 15KB size 15E. If you want to see the different ranges of this fuse, what you can do is there are tools provided in StarView, and one of the tools is called Hide Ranges and Show Ranges. And by just selecting on here, you can see all the other available sizes for that fuse, which you can coordinate with or you can select. Um, and this is quite, sort of a quick view for you to know what are the other sizes available. Simply, you can do the same thing by go into your editor and changing the fuse size and it will change the fuse it will show you the new fuse size in red and show you the original one in the color that was originally selected the same thing is true about the other elements if I was to take my relay and uh, double click now relays are quite ex uh, in ex uh, extensive in ETAP uh, we provide simple, um, uh, single-purpose relays and multifunctional, multi-level relays. Uh, this particular one, it really depends on the selection from the library. This is a blank relay without any information, so you see the information is blank. What you would do, you would go to the library, and you can select from your relay 
uh, manufacturers and let's say in this case we would go to GE 